Hey guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to solve Oscar's crazy comment. Now before I begin I want to say two things, so the first one is, this is going to be harder than a helicopter cube to solve because these are unbandaged, and they're going to act as corners, but they're actually part of that edge. Uh, the second thing is, we're going to be using this algorithm a lot, it's uh, an algorithm that uses jumbling, so you jumble like that, twist it 180 degrees, then jumble it the other way, twist it 180 degrees. And what that does is it basically um, switches these two corners. This is something I'm going to use a lot during the solve. The rest is going to be uh, well explained as we go, but this is uh, just to clarify how I'm going to move the corners around on this puzzle. So let's get a scramble on this and see what it looks like scrambled. Okay, so this is what it looks like scrambled. I jumbled it a bit, but I noticed that unjumbling it is extremely easy because of those unbandaged corner parts. So that's that's really nice. Uh, for example, let me show you. Right now, I'm just turning the faces. I can turn them wherever I want, basically, and it's uh, it's almost fully unbandaged. Obviously, if if one is going to be like like this, I can't turn this one, but I can just always turn that one and. and and then turn this one and it just unjumbles itself quite easily and that's due to the unbandaging. Apparently I missed a few corners here but um, whatever, it's, it's not going to change anything to the tutorial uh, on how to solve this. So, the first step is to pair up uh, corners with their uh, corresponding edges to make helicopter cube edges. Now, there are eight corners that we don't care about because they're actual helicopter cube corners but there's 24 fake corners uh, which are actually parts of the edges. So, first of all, we gotta find those. So let's just um, let's just try to to yeah. We're, we're gonna find every single edge piece and we're gonna attach one corner to that edge piece in particular. So let's just start, for example, with the white green right there. I'm just gonna put it on the on the top face like this. Unbandage the rest. Okay. So that's just so we can uh, visualize where it should be. Um, now this is not the right corner, this is the white, uh, pink, green corner, and this one is an actual corner. So, we gotta find the other white, green part. I'm only gonna show you once or twice on every, at every step, so, uh, like, um, I'm just gonna pair up one, uh, corner with, uh, its edge and do it, uh, multiple times off camera because it's not really interesting if I do the same thing over and over again. So, again, as I said at the beginning of the video, if we want to switch corners, uh, we're going to use the jumbling algorithm that I showed. So what I'm going to try to do is use this one right here. Uh, but it's going to put that corner in this position. So this is the position we want to see here. So this is what I'm doing. Just an R U R prime U prime. This is just a sexy move that I used. Uh, as you noticed, it put the edge here instead of here. So now, if I put this corner here, the white part on top, it's going to be switched with this one right there, white on top, and it's going to pair it up with its corresponding edge. So what I need to do is do like R U R prime, like the same sexy move as always, just to orient the that corner here. Uh, I think I'm might have messed up something. You know what? I'm just going to do this. That way it's in the right position and right orientation and then I'm going to do the jumbling algorithm. And that way it's going to be positioned right next to the edge that we wanted to make and now as you can see this part is solved. This one is too so that's a good thing. Now I'm going to do it once more, uh, that way you, you really get the gist of it and then I'm going to skip the rest. So here let's take the blue-white um, edge piece and that one would be here. Okay, no, that one's already paired up so I'm going to pick another one. Uh, I'm just going to put that one in its position, that way it's done. So I need to move it around the cube all the way there and now it's in the right position. So I'm going to do the blue-orange one, as you can see it's not in the right um, orientation. Oh, sorry, it's not paired up with the corner, sorry. Uh, so, I'm gonna put it here, just like, oh, mistake on my part. I'm gonna put it in that position, um, but it's in the wrong orientation, so technically that's incorrect. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna put it like this in the right position. So, we need to find the blue-orange corner piece that has to go here, the fake corner. Uh, it's not that one because this one is orange-blue. Well, if you put it here, the orange is on that side and the blue is on that side. So, what I need to find is the other orange-blue piece and that one is here. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So, I need to bring it here and do the algorithm to put it here. But I can't do the algorithm like this because here it jumbles. That's because this one is in the wrong position. So what I need to do is I need to put it here. And to do so, I'm gonna do this. So now it's in the right position. I can just bring it here and do the algorithm right there. Okay. And now, as you can see, it's paired up with the corner. The edge and the corner are paired up. And now I can just do this, and it's in the right position, right here between the, the, the blue and the orange centers. And now I need to do this, well, for all the edges of this puzzle, of the crazy comets. So I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna show you for the last ones because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be more complicated because it's always more difficult when you have less edges to finish. So I'm almost done with the edges. I've got this one left, this one uh, right here, and this one. Now this one, it's quite peculiar. There's already a corner here that it's uh, that's in the right position, but it's in the wrong orientation. So what I'm gonna do is to change the orientation, I'm gonna use a regular helicopter cube algorithm for corner orientation. So let's assume this is R, L, B, and F. It's R2, L2, B2, R2, L2, F2, then R2, L2, B2 again, and again R2, L2, F2. And what that does is orients this corner and this corner. So I'm gonna need to make this a real corner by putting it here and then moving it somewhere, like for example here. And now I'm gonna do the algorithm with these two and the, well, these two corners, so with these four faces. And I need to turn this one until it's in the right orientation relative to this edge. So, I can do R2, L2, B2, R2, L2, F2 again. And once more, B2, R2, L2, and F2. And that is the wrong direction, so I need to do it again. So. R2, R2, L2, F2, R2, L2, B2, and R2, L2, F2. So now it's in the right orientation, and I just need to bring it back to the right position, and that is, sorry, it was right here. So now this one is solved, I only have two left, the purple, uh, gray one, and the green, orange one. Now, uh, Obviously, the, the algorithms that I've been using, uh, they only act on the real corners. So I need to make this a real corner and replace it with this one. So this is going to be relatively challenging. Uh, actually, it doesn't have to be. So I need this to be here so I can do the, the switch right there. So in order for that to happen, I need to do this sexy move right there. Now do the corner change algorithm. corner switch and now that that's done do the sexy move the other way around and this is paired up and there's only one left and that's this one now I need to find the gray purple edge which is right here and uh, unfortunately right now switching these two would mean putting this one in the oh wait no it, it is in the right position no right okay this is not the right edge this is the the purple um, gray edge but it's the real purple gray uh, sorry corner it's the real purple gray corner I need to find the fake purple gray corner which is right here so this is the one I want to bring into this slot right there so let's make this a real corner uh huh so let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one here and make this one a real corner using the sexy move that I used earlier. So I want this to be right there. Uh, it was like that. 
And then I'm going to do the corner permutation algorithm. And then undo that sexy move I just made. And undo this right there. So there's a lot of setup moves on this one. Um, but the algorithms are quite easy, so that's good. Now I just need to change the orientation of that corner. So I'm going to make it into a real corner and do the algorithm for the orientation. And what's really cool is that since we've been solving these, uh, all these edges with their corresponding corners, fake corners, um, well, they're already in the right place, which means solving the helicopter cube is going to be really, really easy. Uh, sorry, I just made it in the wrong direction. So I, I, I turned the corner in the wrong orientation again. So just have to do the algorithm again one last time. And here it is in the right orientation. So now every single edge is solved. So uh, just some a pause for some impressions. Um, I've noticed that this puzzle catches a lot um, because it doesn't corner cut at all. So just a misalignment here means I can't corner cut it at all. So as you can see, it's a minor, like a really, really minor misalignment. Uh, let me see if I can focus. Perfect. I, I just can't turn this even though it's, it's almost perfectly aligned. So yeah, it's not that great for solving purposes, but um, you know, you just got to do with what you got. And for the end, this is going to be really, really easy. Um, basically, what you have to do is solve using the same algorithms I showed you. For example, here I want to bring that uh, white, blue, uh, light purple edge right there. Just going to do the, the jumbling uh, corner switch algorithm. And here I've solved this first corner. And I need to do this for everything. So I'm just going to skip through most of that. I just want to show you something real quick. If you want to put, for example, this corner right here, uh, there are multiple ways to do this. For example, I can bring it here and do the corner uh, switch algorithm, or I can bring it here. But something that's really cool is that there's a shortcut. No matter where it is, there's always a way to put one sticker of, the, of that corner on the right face. And by doing so, once you do the corner switch algorithm, uh, it's automatically going to be in the right orientation relative to the rest of the parts around it. So that is perfect and it's a really nice shortcut that you can use for the rest. Now, I've got only two last corners uh, left, two corners left. And um, so I'm going to solve these two real quick and I've only got this one right here that's left. And if I'm not mistaken, since uh, these two are the only ones left to switch, uh, if I bring that one here, for example, the purple is going to go here, and since it's the last two corners, they're both going to be in the right orientation. As you can see, the blue is going to go right here, and it's going to be matched up with the rest. So you don't have to do any corner orientation at the end of the solve. It does itself, basically. Uh, so here it is. It's finished, completed. And uh, I think it's actually a relatively easy solve. Uh, most of the edges can be solved using 3x3 three three algorithms as well as the corner uh, permutation and orientation algorithms of the helicopter cube. So essentially, all you need to know to solve this is the 3x3 three three and two more very simple algorithms. One that uses jumbling, where you do it in one direction and the other direction, like that. And that just switches these two. So very easy. And the second one is the corner orientation algorithm that I showed you earlier, which is basically L2R2, B2, L2R2, F2, L2R2, B2, L2R2, F2. And that's very simple. So solving this is really easy and it's really fun. So I highly recommend you get one. Uh, I've put a link in the description below if you want to get one. It's an awesome puzzle. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun solving this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.